Hey guys, Polacho here with another video for the Mavic Pro. Today we're going to be talking about some accessories. You crazy mother... So just a quick disclosure, I'm not paid or I'm not being sponsored by any of these products. These products I've got on my own, uh, it's for my personal use and hopefully this information will be useful for you. So first of all, these are some accessories that I find useful for the Mavic Pro. So hopefully with this information, it'll help you decide if you need one or not. My recommendation, they will be useful for you. You'll need them. So first, let's talk about the Adorox Gimbal Lock and Camera Lens Protector for the DJI Mavic Pro. Now just in case, these camera covers are not made to be used while flying. That's not what they're designed for. Even the original ones by DJI, they're made for storage. This piece serves as a replacement for your camera lens protector, but it also includes the gimbal lock. So you have your gimbal lock and your camera lens protector in one piece. Now when we first get our Mavic, you know that it comes with a camera protector, which is this guy right here, but it also comes with a gimbal lock which is this guy right here. Now both of these are factory made and come with a Mavic Pro. But what happens if for some reason you crack it like what happened to mine? If you can see right here it cracked and now it doesn't stay on. It just falls off. It'll fall off because there's no locking mechanism right here. So I had to replace this. Now when I was looking online, I found this guy right here, the Adorox Gimbal Camera Protector, but also it's a two-in-one because this little piece right here serves as a gimbal lock. So if you ever have to replace the original one, I would recommend getting the two-in-one, the camera protector and the gimbal lock. It's two-in-one. Now the rubber part is not going to fit because it it's not the same so it won't stay so this unfortunately with this and this can stay in storage for the memories so this is the camera cover and the gimbal lock now the gimbal goes right in between these two little arms now these two little arms go right in between this slot right here right where my finger is and as you can see, those two little arms go right there. If I put them in there first, slide the two notches here, and then click in place. And there it is. It's secure in there. It's not moving anywhere. The camera is locked. It's not moving, so it's protected. There you go ready for storage or transportation. I'll give this guy a thumbs up. Now that we're talking about the Mavic and the camera, I also got myself a camera lens sun hood for the Mavic Pro. Now the camera lens sun hood, I got it for one simple reason. This sun hood acts like a cap. Now recently what I've been experiencing, if I'm flying facing the sun and the sun is above me, it casts a shadow on the propellers that the camera catches it. I don't know if you guys have been experiencing that, but I've been experiencing it uh, recently. So I just figured, I saw this thing on, on Amazon and it works like a cap, like a baseball cap. So think about it, if the sun is above you and it's hitting your eyes, you use a baseball cap. So this acts like a baseball cap. So what this is, is just a little cover that goes over your camera while you're flying it. It's like the gimbal cover, but with a hole on it. And it makes a shade, that way those propellers are less visible. So that's helpful when you're facing the sun. There's a video example that should be running that will indicate what, uh, what's going on. The first shot is the propellers casting the shadow on the camera 
And then the second one is the same angle, same time with the sun guard or the hoodie. You can't see any propellers. You can see the sun glare and not the propellers. Interesting. Now the sun hood goes where the gimbal protector goes. So once you take it out, you put this guy in and it snaps into place. As you can see, it acts like a little hood or a cap, like a baseball cap. Now the camera lens sun hood does not replace the need of filters. That's not what it's for. It's not a cheap way of a filter. I use it specifically to prevent the propeller shadow on the camera. Now one thing is that when you use it, if the camera is looking straight up, you may see the top of this. So keep that in mind, okay? It helps you, but it's not perfect because you can still see this little piece right here. So uh, make sure when you're using it, um, your shots, you're gonna be pointing down. The camera should be pointing down. Otherwise, you're gonna catch this. So keep that in mind, okay? That's the only, that's the only negative part about it. But overall, it keeps away the shadows from the propellers. Now, as you all know, by factory, there's no protection for the joysticks of your control. So when you put the remote in your bag, they are vulnerable of being damaged. So for that reason, I got some joystick protectors, but at the same time, they're also screen protectors. So they go over your joysticks, put the antennas down, and it has a nice Velcro that keeps it in place. Now your joysticks are nice and protected inside your bag. Now, the offer that I got, it came with a combo of two, a red one and a black one. Super cheap. So if I ever lose one, I have the other one for replacement. It's a good deal, thumbs up. Now when summer came around, I started flying the Mavic more. But the summer sun is bright and it shines a lot on your iPhone. I use an iPhone 6 Plus. Now to compensate on that, I got myself an iPad. A bigger screen on an iPad, but using a anti-glare film on it. So it's got an anti-glare film that helps you with the sun, especially the summer sun. So in order for me to use this and the remote control, I had to get myself an iPad holder. Now this iPad holder is from New Q Beauties. Hope I said that right. You can get it from Amazon like any of the gear that I'm featuring here. And it's a two piece. Now the iPad holder goes into the base, attach at the ball point right here. Snaps into place. Screw it on. Open the control arms and the base fits right in. Lock it, lock the arms. Tighten it up, tighten it up. And your tablet, even with the protector, fits right here. Just like so. If you can adjust it, it'll stand on its own. So you can actually put this on the ground and it'll stand. It stands on its own. You just need to kind of adjust it on, to your preference. Now in order for you to use the tablet, in this case the iPad, you have to connect to the control with the USB port right here. Connected to your iPad. And I also removed the cable that was here for the iPhone, because I, I don't need it anymore. I'm using the iPad. I carry that, that cable with me just in case, but I typically now use the iPad 
with the control. So the cable goes to the USB of the remote. To the iPad. And it doesn't get on the way. Now if you're wondering what type of iPad I'm using, I'm using a cellular iPad and that's just for my personal preference. But you can also use a Wi-Fi iPad. So this is my new setup when I go fly. And if it's a sunny day, I pop in the sun hood, just in case. So there you go guys, these are some accessories that are affordable and that are very useful for your Mavic Pro. Now all items that I featured here are listed in the description below. Please feel free to check them out. So I hope this information was useful for you. I'm not trying to get anything out of this. I'm not sponsored by anybody. These are purchases that I've done on my own and they've helped me and I just want to spread the word and hopefully they'll help you. So that's it guys. I hope this information was useful for you. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, please share it with your friends. Give us those uh, thumbs up and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Until the next time, Palacio signing out. Peace. You crazy mother.